Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. So I got this from Gabriel. He said, I purchased your PHP 101 course, and I thought while I watched your videos that this is too simple and only the basics. Come on, it's nothing. And I already wanted back my bucks, but really, you helped and really teached so much. I'm an experienced programmer in C Sharp, PHP, Harbor, HTML, CSS, and even JavaScript all together for almost 15 years working every day for a salary. And I have really learned some really important things in the basics also. Your viewpoint, your advice is valuable. Thank you. So th this is, I mean, this is kind of the risk that, that you take when you tell people really the truth, which is that being successful in IT isn't all about the sizzle. It's about the stake. It's not about some fancy gimmick you might use once in your career. And I kind of I tend to see this a good amount, especially with new coders. I would call it shiny code syndrome, I guess. And the problem with this is it's kind of a confirmation bias. And that's because I would most developers, I would say, in, in my opinion, are good learners or they see themselves as good learners. And programming tends to attract people who see themselves as smart and are fast learners. And we enjoy learning. We, we, we get a kick out of it as long as what we're learning is exciting to us. It gets us going. And, and that's kind of the problem because it's really easy. And I, I, I'm speaking about myself here and my own experience because I've done this. It's really easy to convince yourself that what you need in order to succeed in this whole thing is some exciting new skill. That's the easiest thing in the world to convince yourself that it's some fancy gimmick that will A, be fun to learn and also B, make you feel smart. That is a really addictive combo and it can lead you to constantly chasing this bright, shiny code. But the truth is, it's usually the simple, boring fundamentals that end up mattering the most. The things that you use over and over again that will let you build the kinds of things That'll get you paid. That'll help you advance your career. That'll help you build whatever app you want to build. So you reach a point where you kind of have to decide. You have to make a hard decision, which is what do you want more? The kind of life that you see possible for yourself through code or to keep feeding this kind of learning addiction, to keep become being enamored with learning and how exciting and fun it is and to keep chasing that bright, shiny code, maybe forever. Or to really get serious, to dig into those fundamentals that probably are going to be a little bit boring, but are what you need in order to make this happen for you. Now, obviously, I can't tell you what to do. You got to make your own decisions. But I can tell you this. Ultimately, what it comes down to is time. Because you only have so many hours in the day, and you only have so many days in your life. So the more of those days you spend unnecessarily chasing bright, shiny code. And I want to underline unnecessarily. I'm not saying that there's not certain things out there that you should learn, that you could learn that would be helpful to you. What I'm saying is you have to be really vigilant about not becoming too addicted to learning. It's really easy to do, especially with coding, because you start learning all this stuff and you're like, oh my God, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And you just, next thing you know, it's three years later and you're still just learning. Right? So again, you, you, the more of those days you spend unnecessarily chasing that sort of thing, doing that sort of thing, the less time you'll have to do the things that really matter to get you where you want. And eventually one day you're just going to run out of days. So something to keep in mind. But like I said, that's kind of the risk that I take when I tell people this, when I say it's about the simple fundamentals and all the little nuance that it's going to take to do this on a professional level. The things that new coders miss or don't think of that make a huge difference. The things that even intermediate coders think that they know, but there's always a bunch more to learn. When you tell people that truth and don't try and, you know, sell them on some fancy gimmicky thing that you're going to teach them how to do, you, you really just say, look, this is about the fundamentals uh, and, and you don't try to, to, to sell them on this, some fake vision or that all these fancy tricks and gimmicks matter. What you risk is people thinking initially it's too simple, but 
those who do jump into those fundamentals, who who decide to get serious about this, often end up com- coming out learning so much more than they imagine. I mean, if a guy who's been being paid to program in several different languages for 15 years learned as much as he did, can you imagine what you're going to learn? Anyway, if you want to find out, I'm running a special right now on my PHP 101 course. The link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special. Again, it's $20 off the regular price, but that does end September 30th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you only have a few days left. So if you want to jump on it, make sure and do so. Again, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you next time.